Okay, I am about to retighten my hair. Excuse the noise in the background, but baby boy's watching the shows. So anyways, um, I typically forget to show how my hair is looking before I do a retightening. But um, I'm going to close the door a little bit. Um, so um, it's been nine or ten weeks since my last retightening. So um, like I told you all my last update with my postpartum shedding, my edges are pretty much gone. I've got a little bit of baby hair. Um, this side took a knock more than this side. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, let's see. This is how it's looking. Sorry, y'all, for the camera. I literally just remember because I was like, oh, I got some time to start on my hair. And I wasn't even thinking about showing how it looks. But hopefully you all can see how it's looking. Um... The roots definitely are uh, tangling up with other uh, locks, but it's not as bad because they're thicker. So the base is thicker. I um, don't know if you can see that. Y'all, I don't even know if this video is going to be good enough to be used, but I thought I would at least try. thought I would at least try. So, because I'm about to get started and I'm not going to stop. <laughs> So, it's kind of how it's looking. It's really not bad, but the roots are a little like, if you can see that. You know, it's time. This is you also seeing my hairline up close too. So I'll be able to better see, oh, look at that side too. Edge line, man. <sighs> so anyways, uh, so this will be my first time retightening my hair, um, since I've combined the locks, so, um, it's about... About this much of new growth. About that much. So, alright, anyways, I'm about to get started and we'll go from there. Bye. Alright, you all, so I finished the back. Um, don't worry about the music you hear in the background, that's the baby monitor. <laughs> um, baby boy is asleep for the night, but um, I finished the back some days ago <laughs> and now I'm finally knocking out the front um, it was just not that it takes a long time it's just there's a lot going on on the side um, anyways so uh, there have been some changes uh, I think I'll just speak to some of those changes now so let me see so now you see the first let me show you the comparison this is the side I just finished versus I haven't touched this side yet. So you can see the difference. Night and day. <laughs> um, new growth is about to here. I don't know what that is, maybe an inch or so. Um, it's been nine to 10 weeks since I last did it. Has it, yeah. Yeah, nine to 10 weeks, sorry, I had to think. Nine, nine or 10 weeks since my last retightening. Um, this retightening session is going significantly faster. Um, if I didn't have Jalen, I'd be done in one sitting easily. Uh, but you know, I take moments when I can, 20 minutes here, 15 minutes there, whatever. So, um, I'm so happy I combined my locks. Like I said, I have no regrets. It's best decision. One of the best decisions I've ever made with my locks. Also love that they're cut. <laughs> so um so yeah so the back i don't know if i can show it i'll probably have to show it some other day when i actually have my camera set up and i've got some time but right now i'm trying to just get some video footage here and there so y'all could at least be a part of the process along the ride um when i can remember <laughs> to do so but anyways yes it's going well that's the update it's going well i've noticed that some of my ends um are not completely sealed very well 
Um, it's only a few of them, but I might, I need to go back and actually police them up a little bit, but I think I didn't do the best job in the front end anyways on those logs and they were a little shaky. <laughs> so, um, seeing where they're at now, it's like, okay, but it's only a few of them. Most of all my locks are sealed really well at the ends and I have not been braiding and banding when I wash my hair or anything like that. They've just, they're doing really well. And I'm low manipulation with my locks, so that also probably helps a lot as well. I don't do a lot of styling and updos and all that jazz. Like I'm real simple. So I'm sure that has helped a lot as well. The locks are able to just kind of settle and kind of intertwine, inter intertwine among themselves and, you know, start that combining process, the locking. So anyways, um, that's all I got right now. Uh, I'll come back up at the end and give you all the information about the entire process and what's to come. All right. Bye. Hello everyone. So this is the conclusion of this video. Um, I am finished with my retightening. Yes, yes, it is done and it feels great. It's like night and day. Um, so like I said before, it's been nine and 10 weeks. Um, so these are some of the things that I couldn't remember in my previous parts of this video. So I'm going to put it all together here. So, um, this is my first time combining my locks not combining my locks, retightening my locks um, as combined locks. Um, the last time I did it, I, I when I retied my hair, I put them together and started combining them. So this was my first official retightening with combined locks. Um, it was amazing. The, <laughs> it took me three and a half hours to do my entire head. Can we just take a moment to just like wrap our heads around that? Three and a half hours for my entire head and I've waited nine to ten weeks. I had about an inch of new growth. Three and a half hours. I am so happy. This was the best move I could have ever made. I'm so excited. It, took, it used to take me 10 to 12 hours to do it before with how my locks were before if I waited this long. Three and a half hours for my entire head and it took no time for the back it took two hours for the front it took an hour and a half so for each quadrant in the back it was an hour hour in the front 45 minutes 45 minutes like clockwork it was like what so i am super excited love it it was such an enjoyable experience i did do them a little tight i won't do them this tight next time i just really like the crisp look and i like them to last longer so i kind of go a little tighter but my ends are a lot fatter now especially because they're combined on the ends so i don't need to do them as tight anymore i need to make them a little more loose and just kind of get over it um, but that's kind of the territory with thicker locks, right? Especially if they're thicker at the ends and you're trying to get them through the top, the root area. But other than that, really love it. Um, looks good, feels good. Let me let y'all get in on this. Also, ooh, another thing. I am typically a three-point rotation. I typically do a three-point rotation. This time I did a two-point rotation. Um, and I'm going to do a two-point rotation going forward because my locks are thicker and I just think I think I'm gonna like the overall look of it better so as time progresses so I did my entire tightening with a two-point rotation so I went in from the left side and then down in from the left side down so yeah that's what I did <laughs> so this is my so my locks it's the retightening. Um, so let me say this. With my postpartum shedding, you already know about my edge line. Like, that's a real thing. The, the new baby locks that I had created from all the new growth I received during my pregnancy and being on my prenatal vitamins, has there, it's either slightly there or gone completely. So everything I gained, I end up losing and some. Yeah. But what I noticed was all over my all over my head, I didn't notice any other thinning or anything like that. The the locks that are right along my hairline, I noticed that um, the new growth was kind of thinning a bit. 
but I made sure I retightened it very close to like the scalp and then like you can't even tell and it's not thin anymore like it's like solid so along my hairline I don't think I should wait nine to ten weeks anymore I definitely think I should do it maybe at six week marker just to make sure it doesn't get too much new growth so it's hanging too much and applying tension and weight on an area that's already thinning um, but everywhere else perfectly fine just like it normally is so that was really good to see because I really hadn't been messing with my hair and so to be able to do the whole retightening as we would really realize the state of my locks so excited about that so let me turn around so you can see the back Okay, hopefully you're able to see all of that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at and I'm loving it. If you all are keeping updated with my post and in order to be updated on my post, you have to subscribe and click the bell icon so you're alerted for all new videos and posts. You saw that I put out a filler to see, hey, I'm looking to put in some color in my hair and if I did, should I dye my tips or do highlights? Uh, I think it was like 72 or 73 percent of you that voted said highlights so stay tuned on what I decide to do with color um, what brand I use what color how I'm going to do it the whole process will be filmed so if you want to see all of that make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell icon yeah so we're going to do that uh, but other than that, that's all I've got for this update of how I'm retightening my hair. I'm still using the O-Locker tool. Um, and if you want to know what that tool is, I will link it below in the description box. But yeah, that's all I've got. So thank you so much for joining me for another video. Until the next one, I will see you later. Mwah! Bye.